Jack, let's see if we can take this gun apart. Yes, certainly. Yeah. Put it in there. Stuck out. Stick it over there. Oh. Take out your guard screw. Now this is a screw. It's not a, not a pin. It's a guard screw. Now I'll chuck it in the box. Okay. Yeah. And slot so, so the back of the guard. Turn the guard. Half a turn that way to get the hand pin. Sufficiently to pull him out. Mm -hmm. It's better than that's but that way if you can do it, it's better than holding it with the head with the pliers on the head because it's, it's a counter sunk head as you can see. Okay now some people will take out the plate first. But I always take that one out first. Now the next one is find the right size turn screw. Under the, the, the cover plate. Once you've got it made in here, just unscrew it, chuck it in your box. You can do it, put your screwdriver in the front slot, tap up the plate, the cover, the bottom cover plate comes off. You chuck it in your box. It's just a flat light. The next move is to take out your breech pin. This is the breech pin because that's the real name for it. Under that, pull it out, chuck it in your box. Next, the next one is your trigger plate pin. Under that. Now then, some, this is where you guys check. Some people mark the trigger plate pin and some mark the, mark the cover plate pin. You're here, you, there's no, no need to really. The trigger, the trigger plate pin has got a deeper head than the one that goes in the cover plate, as you can see. So you no need to mark them. Now, you're looking at the thickness of the head here. That's right. And you just you, need well, to, you couldn't put the one in the wrong hole. You right. could, but it wouldn't go down level. Right. You just need to identify, make That's sure right. that you got them correct. But if they're caught very close, then you can either. You can, some people used to mark the trigger plate pin. Some people mark the brick, the cover plate pin by putting a little nick on the bottom, mm -hmm. end, bottom end. So now we've got to move the trigger plate. Now, right, tapping on the front there. If that doesn't shift it, bang the action. Now, that's loosening out. Here we go. It'll just lift out. Right. That's the trigger. Trigger play with complete regard. And this will just, the action will just lift straight out. There's your stock. Put your stock in a safe place where you won't, where you won't mark it. Knock it on the floor or whatever. And then we've got, this is all, Ready to strip out now. First thing is, fire it. That's the okay, so way. you just drop the, the hammer. Yeah, just just tr just to fire it. You and these pieces uh, right here then are those are the sears. The sears, okay. Now, the next mo move is to undo the sear springs or slacken them off. These are the sear springs. If they're very tight to move, remember your third hand device. And, and and get the get the turn the screw in the slot. If it's very tight, get your shoulder to it. Once you get your shoulder to it, you can get some force on mm -hmm. it. Just slacken off these. No need to check them out at the moment. Then knock out your pin. No, no, you can, you can turn, you can turn this around in the vice and hold it this way if you wish. Mm -hmm. But that's the idle man's way I was doing it. Now this is the sear pin that you're knocking out. This is the, this is the, I got the pin. And so I knock him out from right to left, and then take out, just lift, lift out your two sears, and just chuck them in your box. And the next move 
this gel. You can either take out your lever spring and take your lever work out, or take out the inside work. Well, I think we'll take the lever work out, get rid of that. Mm -hmm. Now, what you can do... You just need a pair of pliers pair of to remove pliers. that. You don't need a mainspring vice for no, that. No, just squeeze it up, mm -hmm. pull it out, chuck it in your box. Do you yeah. want to hold? And so that's the main box. spring. You see it's got a little bit of a leg on it here. It's a, that's the, that is the a, top lever spring. Big that's part. A, that's a, a greener lever spring because mm -hmm. this is a greener lever work. Now, there's three types of, there are three types of top lever spring. There's a greener, a Scott, and a Continental. And this is, just, this little pin just holds the underbolt to the to the tumbler under the lever. Here's the on, here is the underbolt. Mm -hmm. See it's got an extension on it upwards. And right here we've got the we've got the tumbler underneath the top lever. And the next thing is you can, there's no set you can do this. You could have taken the top lever the top lever pin out before you did that or 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 even do it do it at this stage of the game. Here we are. Top lever pin out you can't mistake it for any, anything else mm -hmm. because of the, the shape of the head. Tap, tap out the, the tumbler underneath and then you just, your top lever just drops out, nothing to it. You can, well, you can either undo this pin, it's just a little, it's a little pin. And off comes the spring, and then right there, underneath there, there's just a pin through the through the part of the safety thumb piece. It's just dropped out. Here it is, and take out the safe thumb piece or safe button if you want to call it that. And then you got everything out of the top strap. The next thing is. Take out your cocking lever pin. Yeah, there we go. That's mark number one. There's the one on it, marked number one. The number the third, the, 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 the one in the holds the CSU mark number three. Take out the take out the cocking levers. Mm -hmm. Now these are you uh, the, very often one is marked with an R or an L, so or even the centre points you got. They're usually the left, here we go. In this case it's got them out with the right smart with an R, so you, you can't get those mixed up. An R there for right. The next move is to knock out your, your pin for the... Yeah. The, knock him out. Yeah. This has one mark in it also, Jack. No one there, so... Uh, well, we, oh, we, better, we better remember that's got one on as well. Didn't got one anywhere, anywhere else, no. Strange colors. Just a minute, big part. Here's three. Oh, it's three. They are. That's number three. Well, obviously somebody's got the CFP in the wrong hole. So the one with three goes in front, two in the middle, and one no, in the back? No, one with one in the front, two in the middle, three in the back. And now we've come, we've hit a snag because I haven't, I haven't got my piece of wood with me to take these out. This won't, this one won't, this thing won't fit. This one won't, this won't, won't fit because you've got that cup thing in there. So what you do with these things is get a flat piece of wood and cut a V, cut a V in it. Part of the hammer will hold it. So next thing is to twist that like that, push the front end down 
And out comes the hammer under control. And there's the hammer, complete with the slide that works the ejection. Turn him on the other side. Press up pressure on the front of the hammer. And out he comes under control until he's dropping. For a minute. Yeah. And there's the other side. You can't mix them up. They're marks. And he leaves in the two. Are the main springs marked, Jack? Yes, you can't mix them up because right. of that cutout on the side. Right. The cutout on the side is there to, to so that the spring it won't uh, foul on the slides. And last of all, you can take out your sewer spring, sewer spring and pins. Now you'll find that these are marked. This is the one. They, they use, these are usually marked with a, either a cut on the bottom or a, a dot on the top. Now, this one is got a little, looks like it's got a little dot on the top. That's, that's the left hand side one. There's a dot here that's on the right. left. That's great. Well, that, that signifies it's, it's on the left. The dot would be left. Yeah, the English always mark. English always mark the left hand side. The Americans always uh, mark the right. No, the, the Europeans mark the mark mark the right. Is your action completely stripped out? Mm -hmm. Now except the we will have left the cam in. Okay. We can take the cam out dead easy because just undo the screw. Just on the screw pin. There's the pin. Mm -hmm. And this thing. There we go. That's the cam out. It's got a, it's got a knocking joint because it's got the hole through the. That still drifts in. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's just driven in, you see. Now, the next thing, the. The, 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 now all this part here, the complete part, trigger guard, trigger, trigger plate I should say, and two triggers, and the safety bar is called the furniture. That one unit is called, uh, combined, is called the furniture. And the guard unscrews, now that's the that thread there is the only one I see in the gun that's not, not a BA. It's usually a quarter BSF. Mm -hmm. Pretty standard point. Next thing is to take out the uh, the safety. Right. Under the, the little pin. It's only a little pin with a six BA screw on the on the one end. You can't mix that up with anything else, so. We can put that in the box. Okay. Now then, the safety bar just slides out backwards. Might be a bit difficult because you very often the front end, the front end of this bar, this part of the bar here, pushes the safety onto the you know, on automatically when you open the gun because the, the underbolt pushes against it. Sometimes they're bent up with slightly mm -hmm. to contact with the under the underbolt, so just. You might have to tap them out. But once you got it, once you've got it out, you should be all right. There we go. That's the safety bar. The safety bar. It's a pretty simple thing. It's just got a peg screw through there, which lo locks on top of the triggers. Now. And you can see how that's bent up just ever so slightly. That's there. right. Now there was a trigger, a little t a little wiry trigger spring in here. Somebody's taken it out. Somebody's mm -hmm. lost it. Yes. Now I've got a case here of a, a tight pin, so 
hold it in the vise, remember your third hand, and there we go. You see, it's a split screen. Like, yes, yeah. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of them have got that. And this had one, but somebody's, somebody's stolen it. Or it strayed, they lost it. Yeah, there's a trigger spring, mm -hmm. a trigger pin, I should say. And the two triggers just drop out. And you'll see how they're shaped to fit each the person's fingers. Pretty simple, and there's a, there's a trigger plate. Now then, next thing I'm going to strip out is the is the fore end. Now, first thing you get to do is take out the unscrew the Anson rod. That's this mm -hmm. push button, and you can just hold that in the lead jaws and just and just give. Some of them are rather tight. Yeah. You're screwing the cap off of the, the rod. Yeah, I'm un unscrewing the rod. See the rod, the rod is threaded and it screws into this snap, mm -hmm. the little catch of what we call a snap there. And undo, undo the Anson rod, just unscrew it. It'll shoot for you, know. it's got a little spring around it. Then I'll separate. Now, the next thing is to take out the, there's a screw, there's a hole there, and there's a screw there that goes through the, to this part, the forehead tip, or, or if you wanted the rear, the, the Birmingham name, the tailpipe. Anyway, get your point, you unscrew that. I've been unscrewed that. That won't come out. Sometimes they'll stay in there and you won't have to take them out. Now then, that's stuck yeah. in the hole now. Rather than, so I'll leave that in there and I'll unscrew this middle one here that goes into this diamond, mm -hmm. diamond on the bottom. Unscrew. Yeah, that's right. This is the one with it. There's a pin. There's a screw in the back. You, anything to keep me confused? <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Now the thing will come out. There we go. That come lifts out of the boiling wood. The snap will just tumble out. I've got everything else but on there. there. I can just shake that out now. The next my thing is to get the ejector mechanism out, so uncock it and just tap in the, these two boxes underneath. That's in a fire position now. There's, if I, I'm tapping this out from right to the left, the little pin punch, the little pin through the middle of the forehand iron, it's hard to see that. There we go. Just a question of getting it started. Okay, take that little pin out. Now the next the next move is to hold a bit of rag over, over the top, over over them like that. And kind of thing. Then Get the get a screwdriver, turn screw underneath the bottom of 
bottom of the one part and lift it. There we go, that's one out. See, there's the ejector kicker. It's combed up in it. Ejector mm -hmm. kicker, the spring, and the ejector box, all in one, one piece. This is the baker. Yeah. Now looking at that, you can understand why it was discontinued. Pretty complicated, huh? Too complicated. You don't want the springs to fly. There we go, that's the other side. You can't, you can't get them mixed up there. And there's your four end out complete. And the last thing we've got to take out is, which I forgot, is the extractors in the barrels. There's a little, there's a screw in the top of the front, in the front lump, which you can unscrew. It's called the extractor stop pin. Now, there it is, extractor stop. The threads are at the top. The now, threads right here. That's and right, yeah. And there. the bottom part, the bottom part goes into a slot in the extractors. And here's the, here's the two extractors, not ejectors, they're extractors, left and right. The and injectors are these things, these the are just the extractors. These are extractors, yes. Now we've got a completely disassembled jack. That's right, I'm going up now, you can get it. It's ready to be, ready, all the parts are ready to be clean, and then we'll be that's ready right, to that's uh, right. uh, check the uh, triggers. Uh, we know the ejectors are fine, but we want to do a little bit of work on, it, on the front trigger. Okay. And then we'll be ready to put it back together.